I'm telling you, it was a sign. Someone you knew 15 years ago calling from Yellowwood. I have a good night, Rudy. You too. The fact that she calls right when I'm deciding whether to take the job in Chicago, what do you call that? A coincidence. Uh, sure. Why not? Uproot your whole life because a virtual stranger calls from out of the blue. Sue me. I don't believe in chance. She was trying to raise money. She called everyone in the alumni directory. It's only a two-hour flight. Uh, I can be back every weekend. Besides, you know what they say about absence. I'm more concerned with what they say about abstinence. Come here. Mm. Who knows? We may find ourselves joining the Mile High Club. Where are you going? What are you doing? It's a beautiful night. <laughs> it's cold on the roof. Not when we get up there. What in the hell is... Oh, no. God. <laughs> <laughs> They usually pass out from the pain before they die of ventilation. Thank God for small favors. Victims Asian female, I'd say uh, late teens, early 20s. Why does it smell like happy hour up here? The nose, nose. Accelerant, eight-year-old. Why not use the good stuff? Which one of you actually lives here? That would be me, 1403. It looked to me like you, Mr. Floor. We were going to the roof. Stargazing. Right. The only way to get to the roof is the stairwell on that floor. I don't know. Carrying signs and uh, shouting seems a better way to make a political statement. Excuse me? That apartment? Penthouse One? The deputy council general from China lives there. You still don't notice anything weird? Like other than lighting herself on fire? One shoe. The girl's only got one shoe. Any ID? Could be Cinderella lost a slipper on her way back from the ball. Or a cane. It looks like ace bandage. We may have just gone international on this one. Chinese bigwig lives in penthouse one. So who lives in penthouse two? That one's for sale. I guess the price just dropped. On both apartments. I'm sorry. I have a weak stomach for this sort of thing. Most people do. They're crazy, you know. Who exactly are we talking about? These Falun Gong people. I'm sorry? Falun Gong. They're a heretical cult. My government has banned them, saving a lot of innocent victims from being unwittingly brainwashed. Into committing suicide? They hooked their followers first by convincing them it's a good way to stay physically fit. Breathing exercises, things like that. And then they graduate to self-immolation? Sometimes. Our group did this in Tenement Square last year. And their leader thinks he can fly. I don't know how many of his followers have jumped off buildings. Are these those guys on 12th Avenue? That's where our counselors. They just stare, they never say a word. In English, Yuan, my driver. A doorman says trouble. Maybe you want to go to a hotel. No, I'll be fine here. Unless... No, you're OK. Thank you. Does he live here? No, he's more like a personal assistant. Do you have any idea who the dead girl is? Actually, we were hoping that you knew. Well, obviously, her aim was to embarrass my government. How terrible for a family to lose a child to a cult 